Shambhal R by Sheriff and the Rebels, recorded in Brooklyn in December of 1958, written by a half Chinese Trinidad guy in 1955, and I never heard it until, uh, oh, seven, when I went to Berlin, where the only guy I knew was Ed Ward, who I went to visit, who said, I want to play you this thing. It's a most uh, amazing thing, unlikely thing, I forget the adjective he used, that I've heard in, you know, forever and ever and ever. And he played it, and I thought it's reggae doo-wop, but doo-wop was between mento and ska way before reggae. And it sounds like 1961 was my guess. And I, 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 I subsequently found out the, the story about the song. It's part, it's based on an African word song. Uh, and it's the Rosetta Stone between African, Caribbean, and Tua, music from the mid-1950s. And uh, as such, I feel it's one of the most uh, profoundly amazing and signifying pieces of music of the <laughs> mid-20th century. Uh, I had going in my head for nine months non-stop and I was every, every second was a joy and a pleasure and totally totally welcome um, I feel in fact that if, if, if a number of people would start singing that song uh, once the number reached maybe a hundred or two hundred a profound shift in the entire realm of human consciousness and music would absolutely occur no question no question and once once there's like a thousand or ten thousand people would sing it would Um, we're in Soho, where you've lived for many years. Can you talk a little bit about the, um, the area and the changes you've seen since you... Yeah. Well, uh, I live on Green Street. We moved in in 1978, and uh, it was $300 a month and $10,000 key money. And the landlady sold the building to the tenants in 82 for $600,000, the whole building. And no bank would finance us because they said, you paid that money for that building in that neighborhood, you must be nuts. But anyway, so here we are. And Green Street, actually, this used to be the theatrical red light neighborhood around the 1830s or 40s. And Green, Green Street was a huge row of, of whorehouses. But they were, they were actually like tobacco stores. You'd go in there to buy tobacco products and the woman behind the counter would let you go upstairs. You know. So they, anyway, they, they were like, like, like tobacco stores running as fronts for, for whorehouses. And also, the first um, lighter uh, dirigible craft I heard was actually launched right over there, right up the street from either Prince or House and M. Green. And it actually floated to what is now the Lower East Side so this is uh, not for nothing what they call us the old historical district. Well, you know, New York City, the whole, the whole city is just thick and thick and thick with tales and amazements.